Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Agara, or hi if you're new. I've got a box of goodies from a little indie band called Beauty Power UK or Beauty Power. They are a British based band, brand, British based brand from Exeter. Um, I've tested the Boss Babe palette before, so I thought I would do another order, get some more stuff, and I got a bit more than I bargained for, but. I'm going to test this all out, see how it goes, because I've now got some brushes, I, a lot of brushes, I've got some lashes, I've got another eyeshadow palette, and I've got a lippy. So, I'm going to check this all on my face and see how it goes, because if it's anything like the last lot of stuff I tried from them, it's going to be good. So, I've also got these skin stuff, as you can tell I've already got my foundation and all that kind of shit on my face already. So I'm not going to use this today, it's a power glow oil and the glow and hydrate. It's a bit too warm to kind of put more oils and stuff on my face, even though I've got kind of normal to dry skin. It's just, I've got glow primer on today, I've got matte foundation and I haven't even got highlighter on that my skin's already a little bit kind of glowy. Because if you're new here, I put highlighter on last. I don't know why, it's just a habit I got into. So, um, do I start with the lippy? I'm gonna start with the lippy for a change because it is a nice little nude. So, this is the Sweet Little Diva All-in-One Lippy and Liner by Beauty Boss. And looks like this. So you've got the lip, liquid lipstick on one end and you've got the lip pencil on the other. Now all of this came in some more packaging, but because I had it delivered to where I work, I chucked all of it in the bin there, apart from like the sleeve and the little piece of plastic that comes in the middle of it. Also one thing I won't be using today is the makeup removing cloth because these are great. I've got a couple of them already and that one's going to be going through in the shower. The eyeshadow palette comes with a little mirror which I'm going to use. Okay, there's some parts of my lip where this just doesn't want to kind of stick to. But that's quite a nice lip liner. It's very handy that it matches the lipstick pretty well. And this is, it's got quite a nice applicator. Okay, so it's a very nice thin consistency, like I can't really feel it on my lip. It reminds me of the Fenty lipsticks, which are really nice but a bit messy, because I press my lips together when I'm doing it and there's a bit too much on which I need to it up. But it is a very nice colour. I'm glad I went for that one, because I have got quite a few shades, but it's definitely nice, it's not, you can't really feel it on your lips. I've got a mirror over here, it's why I'm looking looking there. But that is definitely a nice colour, and definitely a very me colour that I'd wear quite a lot, especially because it's so lightweight, like some of them. You can really feel on your lips that this isn't too dry, it's very thin. Yeah, I like that quite a lot. And, as you can see before, it is very easy to knead up, like it took me about two minutes to kind of go around with a cotton pad just to wipe around the edges, and it didn't smear everywhere, which, if you're messy like me, is awesome. Now I've got all of these brushes, so I've got like an angled brush, flat brushes, pencil brush, I've got some bigger brushes like these, some big fluffy brushes, they aren't as small as like my Spectrum ones, but they are mermaidy or fish-like. I've got a big fan brush, I don't really use fan brushes, but I'm not against them. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like, like this colour is so pretty. And I think I'm gonna try and do like a rainbow kind of thing. The rainbow is pretty cool. It's got some nice pastels like this purple, the green. I mean, they also vibrate. It is called the Candy Fever palette. If you're curious and want to have a look, they normally have offers on. But in the post, it did get a little bit scratched up. But I can blame Hermes for that because I'm sure everybody's seen the, what Hermes do to parcels. So for eyeshadow primer, I just used a bit of the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I just got it pretty cheap, honestly. So I'm gonna use a nice fluff brush. I'm gonna use this brush here. None of these have names, they're just, these are just some mermaid brushes. So I'm gonna go first with this pinky color here. Just gonna wiggle that in, kind of stamp it in. See if it goes on. So now I'm gonna use a little pencil brush here. See if that goes in any better. I've got like a nice tacky base for it to grip to if it wants to. There is some fallout in the pan, but at the moment there's none on my face, which is nice. It's going on pretty nice, I'm going to zoom in a little bit there. I think that's a bit better. 
it's working on really building up that pink in the inner corner, well that lilac-y colour on the inner corner because I think it's really pretty and because they're fairly pastel colours they haven't got the most pigmentation to them then I'm going to use this bright pink colour right here on the same brush, again it's got a little bit of fallout in pan I think you can see I'm going to start by kind of tapping that towards the middle of my lid and blending it in to the purpley colour you can get a good payoff if you really dig your brush into those colours like that's really really bright pink then towards the outer part I'm going to use this lovely orangey colour again it looks very bright bright I'm just going to stamp that on okay a little bit of fallout with the orange but it's literally two little bits probably because I've just broken the top of the pan so. And then, I think, with this brush, actually no, I'm going to try the angled brush first, this is just another one from the set, I'm going to go in with the orange again on the lower lash line a bit, if you know I need a bigger brush. Got a flat fluffy brush, anyone? There we go, with this big fluffy brush I'm going to use the orange, blend that along. Maybe with a bit of the hot pink as well. Then on the inner corner I'm going to go in with really load up that flat brush. Just kind of go in like this I think. And I'm really liking how this has turned out. It's very bright, very vibrant but it is kind of that pastel trend that's been going on recently and I'm going to add a bit more of the hot pink towards the outer just because I can honestly then I'm going to use this shimmer just down here between the green and the orange on my finger it looks like this I'm just going to plop that on the inner corner because plop is a wonderful word just to kind of see what the shimmer looks like I like applying shimmers with my fingers I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but it is mine. I use this flat brush here, one of the ones from the set. I'm going to go in with this silvery colour right in the corner. Is that right one in the corner that it wants to go in? No, I'm going to use my finger. With my little finger. That's what I like. And I'm going to go quickly add some eyeliner, add some lash as well. I'm going to add some eyeliner quickly. I've got the KVD Vegan Beauty um, eyeliner in Trooper Black. I'm going to add this on quickly. Now I've got the lovely Beauty Boss lashes in a little thing. I'm not the biggest fan of this case, and I'll tell you why. I'm very sensitive to textures. It's down to my autism C video somewhere, probably linked down below. If you want to know more about me, if you've got any questions, let me down in the comments. But I'm very sensitive to textures and sounds, and this, almost in, as soon as I touched it, I just didn't like the texture of it. It's just because my brain is wired weirdly. But inside it does look very nice. If it was like coated in like cling film, not cling film, a double, um, the plastic sheet thing, or sealed in some way, I wouldn't mind it as much. But because you can feel the glitter, I'm just not a fan. But these are the lashes. And I'm going to attempt to stick these on. I'm going to use my normal House of Lashes glue, it's just a black wand, and hopefully these fits. These lashes are bloody massive, so like they're kind of a bit overpowering, and I'm not going to lie, they're a bit big. But if big is what you're going for, they are probably perfect for you, but I don't think it really kind of suits this look, really. Oh well, um, they do stick, they do. They are staying in place. Also haven't trimmed them down a bit because I have massive eyes, which isn't helping, but I do like them. So overall, opinion on this stuff I've got, the Candy Fever palette, the eyelashes, the brushes, pretty good, and the eyelashes are bloody huge, 
I like the lipstick, I really do like the lipstick, it's so comfy. Like, I really can't feel it on my face. All right, quick introduction. I put highlighter on. I swapped the lashes for the Aurora 3D Foam Ink lashes by Eyelor. And these be much smaller, I think this looks much more kind of put together than those massive lashes. So, highlighter is on and I think I look much more normal. So I'm gonna go with these. These I think are a bit too dramatic for me right now, or this eye look at least. So I'm gonna save these for another time, I think. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And I'll see you all for another video in the coming days, hopefully. Bye.